Sometimes you might be wondering on what exactly is the difference between authentication and authorization. And I am going to answer that real quick and with very simple example. My name is Brogain and welcome to .NET Mastery. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you will be notified when I release a new video. And let me get back to the main topic. With security, there are two critical terms, that is authentication and authorization. Authentication in simple term means who you are and authorization defines what access do you have. Let me explain both of them with an example. Let's meet Bob here for our example. Bob has made a hotel reservation for his trip. When Bob reaches the hotel, the first thing they will ask for is some form of identification. Based on that, they will confirm who Bob really is. Even if Bob goes and tells the front desk that his name is Bob, they will still require an ID to confirm that Bob is actually the Bob that he is claiming to be. They know that from the ID because there are certain claims on an ID like name, date of birth. These claims make up for Bob's identification. Authentication is all about determining the identity. In a perfect world where everyone is honest, it would be enough to just ask the person for their identity. But unfortunately, we all know that that is not the case. We must have some proof that person is telling the truth. The hotel needs an identification document. In an application, typically a password must be given along with the username to check that you are the person who you are claiming to be. If your username and password matches, that would validate your identity. Now when that is out of the way, other claims about you are made available to the application like date of birth, full name and much more. In ASP.NET Core, you can choose from several options to authenticate. Now let's get back to our example. After the hotel makes sure that the identification of Bob is valid, then they will hand a key to his room. Now Bob can open the door of his own room. Along with that, he can also open some amenities like gym, pool, saunas, but he cannot open the doors of other room. So the key that Bob has will have limited access. This is called authorization. Authorization will define what place or what access that user has. But authorization comes into effect only after authentication is done. So authorization is all about what someone can do. But what someone can do can only be determined if there was some form of authentication in the first place. Authorization is built into .NET Core in a sophisticated way. Similarly, there might be a manager or a super admin. They will have a special key. Now that key can open all the rooms in the hotel. But first, the user needs to be authenticated as a manager. Only then they can get access to that particular key. I'm going to cover this in detail in the later section, but I hope that this has helped you understand what is the basic difference between authentication and authorization. Authentication identifies who you are and authorization determines what access do you have. I hope with that simple example, now you have a clear understanding of what is the difference between authentication and authorization. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video, leave a comment and I will see you guys in some other video.